Ooh, welcome guys back to the channel so here we have the f32 and today we're going to be installing a new strut bar for the front open up the hood as you guys may know the f30 or f32 is notorious for like a wobbly sort of loose steering feel it kind of feels like your average you know family car in a way and that doesn't really feel great if you're trying to have a sportier ride so a strut bar is totally going to change the way the car drives basically it's going to be going on both of the suspensions on each side and it's going to stiffen up uh the entire ride because the pressure from the suspension is basically distributed onto that bar so all we have to really work with today is the two bolts over here and the two bolts one over here and then one underneath that little rubber piece it's a pretty simple installation so this is the strut bar that i got um this is from ultra racing and i got it in a white finish i just like the way this one looks that's why i got the white finish and um, it was like 180 bucks or so just under 200 dollars. there's a lot of other brands that make stuff like this and they charge a lot more uh, so this is a bit more of a budget friendly one and I just like the white color anyway. First things first, you want to get a 13 millimeter socket and your torque wrench, and you just want to loosen up these two bolts. Now, depending on which car you have, whether it's LCI or pre-LCI, uh, for my car, I only have two bolts. Um, I believe if you have LCI, there's gonna be three bolts instead. Um, the process is pretty much the same. You just have to take off one more extra bolt. Just want to line it up on those holes. And you want to put the screws that you took out back on this hand, tighten them for now. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's a really simple install. All you do is take out the bolts, slide this in, put the bolts back in. You're basically sandwiching this inside. And now when you tighten it down, you want to tighten it down to about 30 Newton meters or like 22 foot pounds torque. And then after you tighten it down to that spec, you want to give it another 90 degree turn to tighten it extra. So after you hit it down to 30 Newton meters or 22 foot pound, you want to give an additional 90 degree turn. All right, everything is fully secure. This thing does not move at all. It's looking pretty solid. I'm just going to put this rubber piece over it. All right. So yeah, let's go for a drive and see if this actually makes a difference. Ooh. I'm honestly like really nervous right now because this is the first time I've ever worked on the engine bay. Alrighty, alrighty. So far, so good. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's very subtle. I noticed very slightly. Okay. There's a turn coming up ahead, so that's where I'm really going to feel it out and see if this actually makes a difference in a steering. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm not going fast or anything, but I can definitely feel some. So it doesn't make the steering wheel much heavier, I noticed. Um, people always say that it does. But what I'm noticing is the steering is more direct. There's less play. It's a little bit more predictable. You know how like in a steering wheel sometimes there's a little bit of a wiggle and you can kind of like wiggle it a little bit and it doesn't go anywhere. But in this now, if I would do a little wiggle, the whole car is moving. So basically I feel like the sensitivity is increased. It's starting to feel a lot like my dad's Tesla Model 3 because that thing was had very direct steering and now this is starting to feel a lot like that. But yeah, in terms of the weight, I don't really feel like a difference in terms of how heavy the steering wheel feels. Maybe if I put it in sport, it will change it up a little bit. So it's in sports mode right now. I'm gonna see if it changes it up. Oh yeah. Okay, it's definitely heavier in sport, but usually it's heavier in sport. Okay, now we have a pretty sharp corner coming up. I'm not gonna take it fast, I'll go slow on it. Hopefully the camera's not gonna fly away. But here we go, let's see how it feels. Oh, and the camera flew away. Let me get you guys back in here real quick. I'll put everything in the description below for you guys to check it out. But yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, and I'm out. Peace.